Hi, my name is Travis Flayens from WebWorks of Kansas City and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a new email address in your cPanel web host and then set up that new email address for your personalized domain using Gmail as your email client. So here I am at my domain which is webworks.black this is just a demo domain I use but uh, if you're on cPanel this will work for any domain uh, so just go to your domain name and then hit slash cPanel now to log into your cPanel you'll want to use your username and password that you've been given and once we're in uh, scroll down a little bit find email accounts um, if your cPanel dashboard looks different than this just find uh, the icon for email accounts and now we're going to add an email account uh, so enter the email you know, prefix that you'd like and then any password you'd like And being that we're going to use Gmail as an email client, and nothing is actually going to stay here um, within our server. I, I always just create the mailbox quota as unlimited, so I don't, you know, run into storage issues in the future, and you know, possibly not get those emails forwarded or uh, delivered over to your Gmail account. So um, now I'm just going to hit create account. So the account has been created, uh, and now if if you want to ever you know check your email from your cPanel you can do that here um, in the little more drop down um, access webmail but we're not gonna do that we're actually gonna configure our mail client and we'll scroll down here and it gives you all the manual settings this is what we want and we're gonna use the secure SSL slash TSL settings uh, which is the recommended so we're just going to leave this screen up so we can reference it and uh, in a new tab we're going to go over to Gmail and log in um, so here I'm in the Gmail inbox I've already logged in we're going to go to the settings icon uh, go down to settings and now we want to go to accounts and import because we're adding a new account a new email account that we want to manage through this Gmail um, and we're going to set up both the send mail as and the check mail from other accounts. Uh, I like to skip a step here and if you set the account that you want to check before the one you want to send, uh, your confirmation email will actually automatically be sent to your Gmail. So uh, if not, well, if you accidentally do it the other way, then you can actually just go into your cPanel and check the email address from there for the confirmation. But uh, you'll see as we go. Here we go. So we're going to add a POP3 mail account that we own. And you'll get a little pop up here. Uh, enter the email address, which on this case I set up demo. Um, now your username is going to be your full email address. Your password is the password we set up. Now for your POP server, we're going to go back to the cPanel page that we have up and the POP server here is the incoming server and I'm just going to copy that over and remember the uh, POP3 port here is 995. Go back into our pop-up, paste the POP server here, change the port to 995 and we're also going to select always use a secure connection now something else I like to do because I manage lots of email addresses from within my uh, Gmail and if you're doing the same thing uh, I like to label my incoming messages so they have a special label so I know that they came from this domain name um, I'm just gonna call this one black uh, I'm gonna create a new level here label um, So there we've created a label. Now we're going to just hit add account. Now the great thing is Gmail's automatically going to ask us do we want to send email as our new email address as well. So let's just go ahead and finish the whole process. Yes we want to. We're going to use that same email address obviously. 
Um, and now for the name, you can put whatever name you want here. Um, you know, if it's a professional email address, you probably want to use your name because this is what shows up as in the you know, when other people see who the sender of the email was. Um, something else that's uh, kind of trendy nowadays for business is uh, if you're a small business, put Travis, you know, at WebWorks of KC, for example. That way, um, you know, the recipient knows who it's coming from and the business. So if they're looking for you, an email from you specifically, they can see it's from you. If they're looking for your business specifically, they see it's from your business. So this is kind of a trend right now. Um, I do one of the two, use my full name or this. So the next step, um, the SMTP server, which is the outgoing server. So we're going to go back to our cPanel settings, check it out. Um, and it's the same in this case. Now we're going to go back to our pop up uh, server. And our port is 465. 465. Username again is your full email address. Your password is the same password, of course. And we're going to use the SSL add account. There we go. It's going to ask us to confirm uh, our code. So let's go back into our Gmail. Let's go back to the inbox. And uh, if the email's not here yet, it, it may take a few moments but we'll just hit the refresh button and wait a few seconds okay so we've gotten our confirmation email and you can see it's it's got the little label black web works because it was sent to it was sent to our demo at webworks.black so it has that label now we're gonna copy this confirmation code now we'll left our pop-up open so we'll go back to our pop-up paste the confirmation code and just hit verify now it's one away we've verified our account and so the last thing we're gonna uh, do is go we're gonna go back into our settings and go back to the accounts and import and there are two things you might want to consider here uh, if you don't ever use your Gmail account and you just like to use Gmail as your um, as your email client you might consider making your professional email address your default uh, this means that automatically when you send an email the email will come from demo at webworks.black you don't have to select it from a drop down um, but you have the option to send from either one um, also uh, I like to select when replying to a message reply from the same address the message was sent to uh, now that you have multiple email addresses in your Gmail uh, email client, you'll want to better manage which emails that you're sending from when you reply. So, for example, if somebody sends me an email to webworksofkc at gmail.com, when I hit reply, it's automatically going to come from webworksofkc at gmail.com. And the same with demo. If somebody sends me an email to demo, then when I reply, it's automatically going to come from demo. So uh, now that we've got that set up, we're just going to go back into the inbox and uh, we'll compose an email so I can show you what it looks like in the drop downs here. Uh, so I hit compose and see we set it to automatically come from demo. But if I decided at this case, I wanted to send it from my Gmail account or if I've added multiple professional email addresses then you can choose it from the drop down here and just select which email address you want it to actually come from um, so let's do a little uh, testing here a little little demo uh, I'm gonna go into one of my other email addresses a Yahoo email address and I'm gonna compose a new email to our new our new email address that we've created And so I'm going to send this to demo at webworks.black. <coughs> so there, it's off. And I'm going to go back to uh, the Gmail inbox and uh, hit refresh here. And it may take a couple seconds uh, or for you to receive it.
uh, especially with a new email address that you've just recently created the Gmail algorithms are set they automatically check the emails for you uh, from your professional email addresses but the algorithms work that the more often you receive email at that email address the more often it will check it um, so you can tell it to refresh and it will automatically try to pull from the other box but there is still some delivery time based on the the various email clients and email systems that are being used so it may take a moment for us to get this email alright so we see we've got our new email uh, and again it's labeled black web works um, and it's all come through and of course as you can see it's sent to demo um, from my other test email address. Now let's uh, reply to this email and I'm just going to show you what it looks like whenever you reply after we've changed the default in the settings to reply from the email address that it was sent to. So we've hit reply and we can see here if you, you click on the the header information that it's automatically coming from our new email address so we don't need to change it at all. If for whatever reason somebody uh, send it to your personal email, but you prefer to move this over to your your business email address to continue the conversation, or vice versa. You can select the drop down and choose which email you want it to come from. So we can send it from our Gmail there, or of course go back and we can send it from our professional email address that we just set up. So I hope this was a great overview for you of how to create an email address in your cPanel web host, uh, and then use Gmail as your email client for your new professional email address. So, uh, best of luck. Thank you.